Hello my lovelies! Uh, welcome to the last day of red carpet hair. Uh, we're going to go back to the Golden Globes, uh, even though the Grammys were this past weekend. And I did indeed check out some of the hair. Almost everybody, uh, my long-haired lovelies out there, is wearing some major extensions. Um, everyone had not everyone. Many people, though, had the long, straight uh, share hair. Uh, Demi Lovato, um, J-Lo has super long extensions right now, currently. Um, yeah, there was some, there was a lot of share hair, uh, which, cool. Um, except for, uh, her name is Andra. I can't remember her last name, uh, but she is rocking, like, some sort of 60s bouffant awesomeness. It's awesome. Um, and Solange. I can always count on Solange for some awesome uh, natural hair sculptures happening. But that is way out of my uh, particular set of skills. Uh, I thought we did great with Janelle Monet, but that's I was pushing it. Um, so, alas, uh, Solange's many awesome hairstyles are really out of my element sadly. So, uh, we are going back to the Golden Globes because there hasn't really been, most everybody's been wearing their hair down. There hasn't been a lot of updos. Um, so maybe, hopefully something good will happen at the Oscars and then if anything good happens, we'll do that. So we're going to do Olivia uh, Culpo. Uh, she's a Miss Universe. Um, this is what we are aiming for. Uh, I should have a couple of close-ups and then I am totally going to show you her gown. Uh, I did a gown. <gasps> this was one of my favorite dresses from the Globes <laughs> because it is so dramatic. Um, yes, okay. So that's what we're doing. Uh, you have to know how to Dutch braid. This is basically Dutch braids. Um, so we need some clear hair ties for the ends of our Dutch braids and we are going to need some pins because we got to pin that to a braided bun in the back. And um, you're probably going to need some hairspray. I'm definitely going to need hairspray because I'm going to have to cork my... This got to be real smooth up front, so I'm going to use some hairspray. Um, but yeah, so let's get started with the center part. Um, I actually... Uh, the person... I don't know if it was a man or a woman. I don't think I ever saw them, just their hands, and I couldn't tell. Uh, but uh, the person who did Olivia's hair um, actually posted some like behind-the-scenes stuff. And um, I actually think it might have been lace braided, but we're going to go for Dutch instead of lace. Uh, just because since all the magic is going to happen on the back of my head, the thing with lace braids is sometimes when you go to pins, since they're made just by adding to one side, um, things might not be smooth, and I just think they'll be smoother with Dutch. So we're going to do Dutch, but if you want to do this with lace braids, then you go for it. So we need to split in the middle, and uh, we, you want a nice hard part too. She had a very hard part, and um, we want to take the very front of both of these out uh, because we're going to smooth them over the braids. Um, so hard part. I'm going to tie uh, one. I'm going to go ahead and throw that on the floor. Uh, I do still drop my tangle teaser a lot. Um, I'm going to tie this off so this hair won't get in the other side. And then what we're going to do is going to be the exact same on both sides, uh, which we're going to pull the front part out. We're going to, we're going to Dutch braid it all. Um, this is basically very fancy double Dutch braids. We're going to make a bun. It's not difficult. Um, but it was very pretty. So we want a section in the front. Well, let me look, go from here. Let's see. We'll actually go right here in front of our ear, straight up. Pull that out. And then we're going to clip this over on the side away. Got that clipped out of the way? We're going to do Dutch braids. Um, now, usually when I Dutch braid, mine tend to actually be really close uh, together because I, yeah, we're going to try and do them a little more on the outside instead of straight back like I normally do. Hopefully I will be 
successful <laughs> because I do tend to really go straight back. Um, but I'm going to try and kind of keep it to the outside. So that's all I'm going to do now is the Dutch braid. Uh, if you watch me, you should already know how to do this, but um, when I do doubles, I always start from the outside. It helps my brain. So outside under, inside under, and then we add. When I do braids, I know a lot of you don't um, do the add to both sides, then braid, and that's fine. That's how I do it because it keeps my braids very even and smooth, um, at least for me. So if you're a newer braider, I do really recommend adding to both sides first. And then we braid by going outside and then inside. Everything goes under and I already need to start pulling this way and I'm going to add. So we get that braided. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then we'll be back. Alrighty, we're braided. We've got our little front bits out. We are dutch braided all the way down. Like I said, they might have uh, lace braided hers. They probably lace braided hers, but I thought this would be easier for us since we're doing it on ourselves. So, um, now we start to pin. <laughs> we're going to take our bits on the sides here. And uh, now, this is weird. Sometimes I think my head is shaped weird. Because you see, I started my braids up, but when we go to pull our hair over, like hers must have been started like way down here. Which I didn't do. So if you want to start down here because it looks like the hair goes over the braid and then up under. I don't know. Weirdly on this side it looks more... Any hoodles? Oh well. Reasonable facsimile is it? Torn ink. So we're going to actually comb it. Um, I will have to do a little touch up uh, with hairspray and a boar bristle brush to get it as um, smooth as hers is. Uh, because you guys know that is some shiny hair and I'm sure there are many products but uh, I'm going to give a little twist because we actually have to pin it right along this braid um, because it does not go over the braids so I'm going to do that hopefully let me go from this side so I can get a better feel um, and I'm going to try and make sure that I pin I might have to use the shorter ones so that the, there we go, so it doesn't pop out. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to have to take this and pull it underneath because in this entire bun, you don't see any straight hair. I guess we could probably braid this as well, um, but I'm just going to put it in a bun in the middle and then wrap the rest of the bun around it. So let me get the other side pinned. All right. Be right back. So we've got the sides done. Um, I know you can see this peeking out. I'm going to worry about that after everything's up. Uh, but look, this side looks absolutely the same. Did the same thing on both sides. And yet, one side always looks better. Always. I don't know why. Any hoodles. Okay, the rest of the unbraided hair I've made. Just a little tiny Cinnabon back here. Two big bobbies. Yada da. So the rest of this. This is almost like a Chinese braided bun. Um, at least this is how I'm going to do it. We're going to build it. So I'm going to take a very long stick, um, pull my hair back like this, run this stick, let's see where's the top of this, okay, through the side here, go straight across, and then up on this side, there we go, are we, are we even? We are totally not even. Even, please, even. I want it to be even. You're going to have to look in the mirror to make sure that you're level. Okay, that seems a little more level. All right. We're going to start to wrap. I'm going to go underneath first, and then up and around, and then down. Now, I am going to pull this tight, and I am going to pin. Um, for these, I'm going to be using Amish pins. I'm going to pin because we will be taking this stick out and we need to make sure that this thing will not move. So pin well. I'm also going to have a look-see in my mirror and to make sure 
that uh, there's no weird stuff happening in the center. Um, because that's what we do. Okay, let me look. Let me look. Uh, yeah, no, that looks good. That looks like what we want it to look like. Da -da -da. All right. I'm just going to pin the rest of it. I really back. am beginning to suspect that the fact that the back of my head is flat is sometimes problematic in some of these. Because this is what it looks like, but it looks different on my misshapen head. Um, any hoodles can take this out now. It's not going to move. We pinned. So, as you can see, this bun is right. My braids are right. Also, might have a bit more hair, so it covers up a lot of that Dutch braiding that we saw. Alas! But, that's right. It's right. I swear to God this is right. Anyways, um, I did notice right here, this one pin of mine just keeps wanting to show and it's annoying me. So I'm going to attempt, since I have sprayed, I'm going to spray again to take this out and hope that the hair stays. Wish me luck. Okay, let's see. Just because I can't stand seeing that pin there, it's driving me batty. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find the end of it. So many pins in my hair, you guys. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. Maybe. I'm going to use a littler pin. Maybe that's why. Because it, it's not as tight without the pin. But, let me see. Maybe a smaller pin will do it for me. You know me. I like for my pins to be hidden if I can help it. That seems, it looks better from the front, but I don't know. Let me look. Uh, better. It's better. I can still see, but... I'm done with this hairstyle, I can tell, and I'm slightly lopsided. Not really certain why. A few more pins then, guys, a few more pins. I'm gonna put in a few more. One more pin, I needed one. I needed one more pin just to bring this up so it would be even. <sighs> Any hoodles, uh, to get this really like smooth and shiny. So spray it, like really spray it. You need a natural hairbrush or bristle, and then we're just gonna very gently smooth this down. Very gently smooth it. Smooth it. There we go. Ooh, look how shiny that is. But that also gets rid of the flyaways. So I'm going to do that. Just I'm going to have to brush this out later, of course. But as you can see, that tames it all down. All you guys that worry about your flyaways. That's how the girls on TV keep theirs from being crazy. Um, it's a ton of hairspray. Uh, it tames everything. That is what I know I'm spraying it. That's what hairspray is for. I know we don't use it very often. I don't, especially just because I only wash my hair once a week. So uh, products on your hair tend to attract lint and dust. So, if your hair doesn't have any products on it and you brush it, the lint and, dust, lint and dust comes off. But if you have hairspray, then it attracts it. That's, that's why I don't really use products on my hair. If you're a person who washes your hair every couple of days, who cares? Use as many products as you want. But since I don't, that's why I don't. Now you know! And knowing is half the battle. There, that's our Olivia de Culpa hair. She had absolutely zero decorations. There were no pretty pins. There were no flowers. There's nothing. It is a braided bun. It is very severe on my face because I am not a Miss Universe. <laughs> it really helps to have an exceptional face if you were going to do a hairstyle like this. Like, it would be better if my jaw weren't so soft because I'm old. Um, you know, and to have the planes and angles and things, right? Hmm. Look how much better that would be if I wasn't old. Um, um, a more severe hairstyle like this goes, um, really goes best on women that are exceptionally pretty or exceptionally striking. Um, I am one of those people that really prefers a striking face. Think Tilda Swinton. Some people might not think that she is exceptionally beautiful. But I could look at Tilda Swinton's face all day long because of all the angles um, and her luminous skin. So women that have like sharper features, 
can really do a severe hairstyle because you, you want everybody to look at that face. It's, it's an exceptional face. Really, really beautiful women can also wear really severe hairstyles like this because the beauty of their face counterbalances the severity of the hair. That is why Olivia, De Olivia Culpa looks so beautiful. I mean, her face is gorgeous. I'm not saying I'm an ugly person. I'm perfectly fine. But I don't think I quite have the face for a hairstyle like this. I usually try to go for bigger and sparklier. Um, but it's still really pretty. It's just, this is not for me and the way my face is put together. But some of you out there are striking and or beautiful. So this may be a really good hairstyle for you. It's basically a braided Chinese bun or a Chinese braided bun as they call it. It's Dutch braids done in a bun but with a little smooth fancy up front so I hope you enjoyed this if you try this send me pictures um but yeah I mean as far as oh I do have earrings so I won't look quite so <laughs> but yeah as far as um you know a hairstyle that I would wear this is not my jam it's too low the bun the bun's right here and it's like you guys know I can't deal with that. Um, so yeah, and the mega severity up front is not for my face, as it were. So yeah, I also didn't have earrings though, right? But I do have gold, I just have hoops. Any hoodles. All right, I'm off. Uh, I'm still not sure what we're doing tomorrow, we'll see. But uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, some of you, some of you I will see in uh, two weeks. Um, because next week is my week off. Woot. Alrighty. I love you guys. I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye.